Hey guys, it's Coin Hunter here again, and I was going through these bags of pennies. If you guys remember from my video from a few days ago, that I bought another box of pennies, and I was thinking maybe I missed a few, and I was, you know, maybe I missed a few, a few wee pennies. You never know, and I did. First find, or first coin in the little series, is a 1959D. The two 1960 Denver's. A 1961, 1961D, a 1964, a 1969D, then three Lincoln Bass Centennials, and then what I believe to be, um, what do you call them? Uh, mint strike errors, where it's a little bit off the end or the edge, the the faces or the rever the obverse as you can see like right here how it has this loop right here how it seems to be a little thicker than on that side I looked on Google looked at a few pictures and it said this was like a um, a strike error I hope these are because that'd be kinda cool this one is the first one I saw and noticed this is a 1985, no 83. And then I also wanted to show you guys over here. Um, I have these coins here that I'm gonna clean up with these these items. Uh, let's see if I can read it. <laughs> Pardon my terrible handwriting. Vinegar that I gotta freeze in the freeze in the freezer for 30 minutes. Hydrogen peroxide, a couple of drops. Then I gotta shake it slowly and wait a day, so like 24 hours to see the change. The only problem is I don't have any hydrogen peroxide, so I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to go to the store and get some. Anyway, guys, that's a little coin update for y'all. Y'all have a great night. Coin under out. Also, another thing, guys, I have here a really good condition 2005 penny. I don't know if y'all can see that again, the lighting's terrible. And then over here, I just started making a stack of like all the shield pennies. I don't know why. I just did. Anyway, um, I guess that's it. Oh, and I'm also going to try to clean all these little the crusty looking coins and all the dirty looking ones. And I guess that's it, guys. Uh, see you later.